Okay, it's January the 3rd, 2014, and I just first want to thank all of the YouTube viewers for so many good suggestions, and I don't know why I never thought about using a, uh, a dryer heater element, 5200 watt heater element. I was going to go to the uh, appliance repair places today, but didn't make it. But anyway, I'm going to use these resistors once more and show you where I'm at. What I had to do is last night, right after I made the video, I kept tinkering with it and I blew the fuses in here, put myself in the dark. Not that anything went wrong, I just can't draw that much current. And I think I mentioned running another power line in here. What I've got right now is right out from underneath my meter box outside, I got an outlet. So this is number t this is a big yellow number 10 extension cord. So I'm running off with some power right out from underneath the meter. <clears throat> So I don't have voltage drop. All the little things add up. Yeah, I, I just didn't have enough uh, line voltage last night when I got to thinking it through and looking at what I did have. So now I got line voltage. And when I crank this thing up, I'm going to run it up to... I don't think I've shown this yet. This is an old uh, triplet. It'll measure 6,000 volts. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's on the six kilovolt scale. See, there it is right there. That's the only meter I got that'll measure anything this high. So I run it up to right in the middle. Now this this variac is way too small, but so are my dummy loads. I'm going to build a uh, dummy load as uh, suggested by uh, some of the YouTube viewers. But let me show you what I can get out of it now. I won't run it long because I don't want to catch the place on fire. But I'm going to run the I'm going to run it up here, all the way here. See, there's my 3 kilovolts. There's my output. 1357. There it is, right there. That's what's driving it. And there's the plates. They run. I've got a reasonable amount of experience with these types of tubes. And uh, that looks quite normal. Absolutely beautiful. The, 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 uh, it, the, they seem to oh, kind of overwhelm the camera. They're actually uh, orange, but uh, the camera seems to accentuate them. Turn this thing down. I can see the heat rising off of these resistors. I don't know if you can. Anyway, that's it. I got my 1.3 kilowatts. Now I've got to uh, button it up, make it safe put some power up. I'm going to put a panel back here so that it powers up slowly. Uh, and that's with a choke input filter too, by the way. Uh, you know, I've got to do a lot of things to make it safe and, uh, and uh, convenient, if you want to call it that. I'm going to have to put some, I can smell those resistors burning. I'm going to have to put something different here. Even that wire's warm. There's so much current flowing. Um, so I can select 4 ohms or 8 ohms. Etc. This little fella right here has got to go. Yeah, I've got the high voltage off. This right here turns. This is my high voltage control. So when I stick my hand in there like that, there is there's no plate voltage on there because I'm uh, watching that too. But I got my 1.3 kilowatts out of it, and I didn't even turn my fan on. That was dumb. I better turn my fan on. Yeah, the first thing you got to do when you build amplifiers like this is, one, don't get killed. Two, don't burn up your equipment, especially your tubes. So there you go. And once again, thank you so very much for all the YouTube viewers that enjoy this crazy stuff and uh, the suggestions. I, I just have so much fun. I, it, I don't know. I just can't quit. Have a good year. Stay tuned. Let's build some more big stuff. I'm always open to suggestions.